spin, huh? What do you think, ladies? Is the spin interesting or what? I give it an 85. I give it 85 out of a possible 100. Yeah. Most of these evenings have been, oh, mm, 60s and 75s. And, but we keep on the road, you know? Uh, I have an interesting, well, maybe you won't find it too, well, I don't know, I think you will find it interesting. Uh, this is our first night in Cleveland. We have two more nights to go. <laughs> Actually, I don't feel that way about it at all. I'm ha I like this country, this poor old baggy country. Oh, this poor thing, this poor country. This is the kind of country you just want to go, oh, oh. Poor thing is so gutted. Oh. I knew, once knew a song about this country. It was a, a oh, actually it was about the planet. It went, it went, here I'm still a-spinning, still a-spinning round, turning, ever turning, God I'm running down. Once I was a virgin, shining virgin queen. Uh, then they came and raped me, or something like that. I don't remember, but it was real heart-rending at the time. Well, it was. It still is heart-rending. Fuck you. Well, it is. Getting stuck in the house. Goddamn, I can't stand them when they're inhuman, you know? I just can't stand them when they're inhuman. Fucking machines walking around. Not funny. Cleveland, the best things in life are here, uh-huh. Fucking Cuyahoga called Catching Fire, you should be proud. Bacteria can't even grow in Lake Erie. Didn't you hear? Oh God, do something. This isn't my town. This isn't my beat. I work my own beat. I was walking down 42nd Street one day. I wasn't working, I wasn't working 42nd Street, I was walking 42nd Street. <laughs> I was walking 42nd Street one day, and this amazing thing happened to me. It was July, no, yes, it was, yeah, it was about July, it was about 89 degrees. It was hot, hot for New York, you know, and I was walking down. I guess I was going to the theater or something, I was working, and I... Uh, Once or twice I worked last year. I did. Generally, I consider it beneath my dignity, but times are so rough. Anyway, there I was on 42nd Street, taking the short route, you know, and uh, the colorful route. <laughs> and uh, it was July, like I said, it was 89 degrees, and there was a Kai was going east, and this humongous person was coming west. I mean, it was just, she was just humongous. She must have been 400. 450 pounds, and she was an ounce. She was a real big person. And she had this big blue house dress on, pickered all over with white, little white daisies, you know? And I said, Jesus, God, look at this person. And I wasn't paying any attention to her, you know, uh, except for the fact that when, when I, you know, when I, I scanned her, I did my camera pan from, you know, up. And there was, uh, sitting on the top of her head, she was almost bald, but sitting on the top of her head, forehead, you know, on her forehead was this fried egg, which I thought was really unusual. Because in New York City, the ladies with the fried eggs on their heads don't generally come out until September or October, you know. Here was this, this lady, this demented lady with a little fried egg on her head in the middle of July. God, what a sight. Oh. And ever, ever since that, I guess you got your own set of fried egg ladies. You, they're probably carrying something different, though, you know. Ever since I saw that lady, I, not one day goes by, I don't think of her. And I say to myself, oh, God, don't let me wake up tomorrow and want to put a fried egg on my head. <laughs> oh, God. Then I say real fast, I say, oh God, if by chance I should happen to grow a fried egg on my head, I should wind up with a fried egg on my head. Because sometimes you can't help those things, you know? You can't. I say to myself real quick, I say, don't let anybody notice. 
and then I say real, real fast after that, if they do notice that I'm carrying something that, that's not quite right, and they want to talk about it, let them talk about it. But don't let them talk so I can hear. I don't want to hear it. Because the truth about fried eggs, you can call it a fried egg, you can call it anything you like, but everybody gets one. Some people wear them on the outside. Some people, they wear them on the inside. But y'all know, we all got one. We had an apartment in the city. Me, me and my husband, we like living there. It's been years and years since the kids have grown a lifetime of their own. They left us alone. And John and Linda, they live in Omaha. And Joe, Somewhere on the road, you know, we lost Davy in the Korean War. I still don't know it for. Don't matter anymore. Don't matter. You know, trees they just grow stronger. Old rivers grow wilder every day. Old people. They just grow lonesome, waiting for someone to say hello in there, hello. Now me and my husband, we don't talk much anymore. He sits, he stares out the back door screen, and all the new just repeats itself like some forgotten dream. We both see. Someday I'll go call my friend Judy. You know, you know, we used to work together at the factories. But what will I say when she asks what's new? Say nothing. What's with you? Nothing much to do. You know, old trees, they just grow stronger, and old rivers, they grow wild, they grow wild and wilder every day. Old people, they just grow lonesome, waiting for someone to say, hey, hello in there. street sometime and you spot some hollow ancient eyes don't just pass them by and stare as if you didn't care you say hello in there hey Hello.